Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another concept, not concept, in the hyperlink only, the URLs and paths. So why we need to discuss about this URLs and paths is, we have already know that in the previous video, we have added, the we have learned about the anchor link and also we have added a href attribute. In this href attribute, we are trying to give the URL. So URL is nothing but uniform resource locator or nothing but path. So I will, tell, I will tell you about this path also, nothing but a file path. So let's try to learn about this URLs and the paths. First we will learn about this paths. To fully understand link targets, you need to understand URLs and the file paths. A URL or uniform resource locator is a string of text that defines where something is located on the web. So URL is nothing but a string of text, it is a, it is a string or a text that defines or that, that explains us where the web page is located, where that document is located in the web. For example, Google English homepage is located at https www.google.com. So this is the address. So this is the address where this Google English homepage is located. This is called as an URL. URLs use paths to find files. Paths specify where the file you are interested in is located in the file system. So URL, URL what it will try to use, it will try to use the file paths to find the file. Paths specify where the file you are interested in. It is possible to link to a specific part of an HTML document known as a document fragment. So this is another one. Let's try to see about this path and all those things. Uh, anchor links and all those things. So here, if you try to see, this is our Visual Studio code and this is our links. Okay. Now here, let's try to comment out this one. Now, what I will try to do is, so here I am having a p tag and in this p tag, what I will try to do, I will try to write anchor link. Okay. Go to, um, what I can say, attributes page attributes we have an attributes page right so go to attributes page and for this one we what we need to do we need to give the path where it is located so the path now you need to understand that the path is located in the same location so here this is located in the same place same place where this links.html is located so this is the path so now what i can do here i can directly write attributes.html why? Because the links.html and also the attributes.html are on the same level. So we can directly use this attributes.html. Okay. Now let's try to see the output. If I try to see, if I try to show the output, now if I click on this attributes page, automatically we move to the attributes.html. So this is one type of notation. And another one is, for example, let's say that in the projects folder, we are having another file, something like contact.html. So this is a contact HTML and here I will try to write here like this and here you write this, this is the contact page. Okay. So this is the contact page. I am trying to write it. Now in the links.html, now I want to move to the contacts page, go to the contacts page. Now you need to understand that the contact page is not located on the same level where the links.html page is located. It is located inside the projects folder. Inside the projects folder, contact.html is there. So for that reason, what we need to do is, we need to mention the projects folder name, projects slash contact.html. We need to mention it like this. Now if you try to see the output, how it will look like. So here if you try to write, this is the contact page and project slash contact.html. So it has went into that one directly. The another scenario is, for example, let's say that this is the contact HTML. Now I want to go to href. Okay. So go to um, codes page. Okay. Let's say that we need to go to the codes page. Now here what I can do. So here we cannot give directly the codes page. Why? Because the present HTML, the where we are trying to write the code, the present HTML page, that is nothing but contact.html page, it is located inside the projects folder and the 
target file is located outside the projects folder so that means it is outside the thing so what we need to do here we need to give two double slash so this is nothing but it will go to the one step up so here is the contact html it will go to the projects folder now so now you in this projects folder in the same level the codes is also there so you need to mention something like codes.html okay so this is how we will be mentioning the url link now if i try to see the output so let's go to the contacts page and here we will be having the codes page and i can click on this codes page so that i can move on to the codes.html so like this we will be giving the navigation path in the href attribute so this is how you will be giving and this is how you will be navigating inside the file system path so if it is present inside a folder you will give the folder name followed by the file name if or otherwise if it is outside that folder name means you need to give two double slash so that it will go to one level if you give again two double slash means it will go to another level okay so this is how we will be giving the file pass so this is the thing what i what i was trying to explain it now another thing what what we can explain what i can tell you is not only like this it is also possible to link to a specific part of an html document we can also link to a specific part of an html document known as a document fragment so this is called as a document fragment rather than just to the top of the document so rather than going to the another document or anything so we can also go to the specific part of an html content so you can specific specific part so not only to the top of the document we can go to the middle of the document or bottom of the document wherever we want we can go it so using the document fragment so how we can do it here to do this you must have to assign an id attribute to the element you want to link to so which one from where, uh, where you want to go to the uh, part the exact html page you need to assign an id attribute to that element it normally makes sense to link to a specific heading so this would look something like the following so here you i am having an html element with id mailing underscore address then to link to that specific id you would like to include it at the end of the url preceding by a hash or pound symbol hash symbol like this for example so here you can see want to write as a letter use our anchor link like this hash mailing underscore, underscore address you need to provide the id for this one so what is the element what is the id you have provided for the ht element you need to provide it this one okay you can also you can even use the document fragment reference on its own to link to another part of the, not only to the other part of the document you can also link to your own html the, the same html page where you are residing you can give the id attribute for that one also so this is how we will be giving let's try to see this in the practical representation then you will try to understand so now here we are trying to learn about the document fragment right let's go to the uh, list page okay so this is the list page now i want to go to the directions now here i can give something like id is equal to directions i am giving directions now if i go here into the list page <coughs> if i try to see the output here list.html right now the directions is somewhere at the bottom okay whenever uh, so now here i can provide a link here go to the directions when i click on this one the page automatically has to move down and it needs to show the directions let's try to see how we can do that one so here we are having a pid is equal to directions right at the top here i am writing a h r e f go to directions so i will provide a link here if i provide a link so you will be able to see that here at the top go to directions link is appeared now if i click on this one nothing happens actually so now when i click on this one it need to go, go down to this one directions for this school now if i want to provide this one i need to provide what is the id for this one directions right you need to have here hash and you need to provide the directions that's it now if you have if you if you refresh this page and if i click on this one automatically it moved to the bottom of the page see if i click here automatically it moved to the bottom of the page not only in the same document so you can also navigate from other document also to this directly to the directions for this school how we can do is so now if i go to this projects contact.html and here i will try to write it go to list direction page okay 
so now here I will try to add an anchor link for this one I will try to add it here so let's try to move this one now we need to move to the list page so now here I can write something like one path and list.html let's try to see the output if I try to see the output here where where we are in the contact page right so let's go to the contact page yeah this is the contact page now go to the list direction page we are having now if I click on the list so it moved to the top of the page but I don't want to have uh, to land at the top of the page directly it need to land to the bottom so it needs to navigate to the bottom automatically so what I can do here so list.html and I need to provide hash directions okay if I provide it like this hash directions now let's go to this one okay now I am providing I am clicking on this list see now automatically it moved to the other page and also it moved to the bottom of the place where the directions for the school is located so this is how we can use the document fragment this is called as document fragment we are using the id of the particular element to navigate to the through the page to navigate in the page to of that particular to that particular element id so this is how we will be using the anchor links so i hope you understood about this urls and the paths if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you